Hi, I'm welcome to Tights TV. Uh, going to have a bit of discussion about weekend game, but going into uh, last week, sorry, going to West Brom game. Today, I've got Dave on. So, Dave, it's nice to have you on board, mate. Thanks, Rovers. Yeah, I mean, just going back briefly to weekend game, what it ought to be expected, Dave, with youngins what we're getting put in, what are you expecting, Matt? Um, yeah, I was, I, mean, I, was I, I, I actually expected a win on Saturday. I really thought they'd pull it out and um, maybe put in a short performance and a short result, but it didn't happen. But yeah, it was an end of season, nothing to play for. Uh, the, the lack of effort still shown from some of the senior players, which I wasn't too happy with. Hmm. I think the only one that really showed any fight was uh, was Callum Styles out of the out of the usual suspects. But it was nice to see some of the youngs get a game. Um, you know, it's obviously throwing them at the deep end, giving them some experience. It's great to see Marshy get his first goal uh, with a bit of, with a bit of um, better supply next season from a, hopefully a, a new midfielder or two. He should hopefully get a couple more, but yeah, I thought he played well. I thought Undermark played well, and I thought uh, the other lads in central defence played well. Yeah, okay. that's true. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's like having a bit of, bit of both to be fair, because when I saw line up, I'm thinking, God, I'm going to get hammered here. But then when I think it was, he come out, Martin Devaney said that some of the players in the previous game weren't actually doing out, so he wanted to check it up. And I thought, you know what, fair play. Give some players mm. what actually do want to play, like like I said, Aidan Marsh, uh, that's Shra, on the mark, just chop it and change it up because if that's going to be the case, I'd rather players what wanted to go out and put an effort in, a team effort in. And like you said, when I see Marsh um, going into League One, I mean, next season, Marsh is, is going to have to do, a, I mean, not just him, but a fair few are going to have to do a lot of growing up and a lot of maturity coming out of them, Dave, aren't they? Yeah, they will. They will. But what they need is the senior players having to respond and to, to, to bring them along and um, give them help when needed. Uh, I'm not sure who's going to do that at the moment because the players that do look like they're, they're showing a bit of fight and a bit of spirit and wanting to play for the club, I don't think they'll be they'll, they'll be here next season. I think Morris will be off. Uh, I think Collins will be off. I think Styles will be off. Uh, plus others. But yeah, I mean... We, you want to develop the younger players, which is uh, what the, the board want to do. I can understand that. And I think League One's probably going to be a bit, bit better for them than chucking them in the deep end of the championship. You know, there's not much game time um, between the three that started on Saturday. And, um, you know, they all they all played really well. Um, I thought Aidan Marsh is, is, he was in and out of the game, but he didn't have the, the supply coming through midfield. Uh, so that's to be expected. I think we'd have had decent midfielders this season. It would have been a different story. You know, you can mm. see the supply for, for Morris and Woodrow has not been what it has been in previous seasons. Mm. And um, that's obviously been one of our downfalls. But, uh, you know, get some... And again, we need some experienced heads. They're probably going to go for experience because it's over the age limit that they like. But, you know, they want, they want journeymen in, in your team, like what Luton have done, and players that have played in League One and that can they can bring their experience into the team and also bring the ones on all. Yeah, good point about with like midfield area because you look at midfield area, it's all been inconsistent this season. You can look at your midfielders like your your last you know, buffer for your defence, but then you're also looking at midfield for creating. And if and if that's like missing, it's it breaks down, you know, it's not a flowing movement, it's like it's a miss. And I think we've been fan wanting a, a lot this season because I mm. can't say I don't know if you can. Whoever's been played in midfield have like actually said, you know what, that is my spot. There's been nobody here to say, this is no. not my spot. We haven't been no one. No, it's been trying to fix it and trying to mend it, but it's like proved to his own downfall. No, it's not I... been replaced. And that's the, you know, Benson was supposed to come in and replace him, but, hmm. you know, we see more of Ailey's comment that we've seen of Benson this season. I don't know if he's been injured or what, or if it's something going on behind the scenes, but he's not had much game time either. And there's been nothing in midfield. Palmer, to be fair to him, I thought he did all right last Saturday when the bit of game time he had. I know I've slated him a lot this season, but he did all right. But I don't think he's the answer. I, I really don't. Um, but yeah, that midfield is just it's non-existent. And you can see when the ball's getting played out, it goes out the keeper's arms, straight up to the other goalkeeper. Brings the attack back onto us. And then we feel to stop the attacks, we're straight through to the defence. The defence is struggling. You've got the backs to the wall all the time. And... You know, that's why we've shipped so many goals this season. The defence has been lacking and it's a constant pressure. 
because nobody feels there to back it up. Yeah, true. I mean, it was great to see Adam Ash get his goal, and then you know when he was coming off, he was. I think it took him longer to get all the way out pitch because he was applauding fans and that. But it just goes to show, you know, if someone actually puts effort in and a local lad, they will actually buy into it and reward him with it. And it was great to see that because, like I said, he's still got a lot to to do, you know, to prove and grow up and develop. But it was great to see that fans gave him a, a well deserved, you know, round of applause for that. I think the fans, fans appreciate what he's doing, you know, and the fact that he's taken the time to, you know, when he comes off, he, he's done it the, the few times he's been substituted, he's, he's taken ages getting off and he's, he's there appreciate, showing the fans' appreciation and that's the sort of player that I want to see at Oakwell. Yeah. You know, you can, you can have all the talent in the world, but if not to put the effort in, if not bother about playing for the club, then, you know, I, I'd much rather have someone, you know, that wants to be there, wants to play for the club and being a local lad, you know, he's... He's Barnsley through and through, so that's the sort of play we, we, we need. And I think, you know, he's been banging the goals for the reserves. You know, as, as I said before, with that with the midfield supply coming through to him, I reckon he could be he could be a good um, a good talisman next year next year in, in League One. I really yeah. do. I think I, I think he could be a player to watch out for me. If, like I say, if he's if he's supported well around him, um, you know, and gets the supply that he deserves, I think, you know, his confidence in his game will, will come along. Going to West Brom game, I mean I've just going through, uh, Martin Devane has been asked by local press. I think Morris is going to be out, but it looks like it will be an injury. Or injury front, it looks like. Callum Britt is going to have a late fitness test today. Might make it, unlikely. Anderson and Vita definitely are, as is Collins, as we all know. Uh, Romal Palm is a hamstring, so it's a slight strain, so he'll miss out. Devante, Cole and Josh Benson possibly could be back. Would you, you know, I mean, Devante Cole and, and Josh Benson, would you chuck them into the mix and just see what they do? Well, as I say, there's nothing to lose now, is there? So, no. you know, you might as well. You know, I think um, Benson will be here next season. Um, Cole's going to be here next season. They haven't excelled in the championship. You know, they've not had much game time between them, either of them. You know, I, th- I think the lack of, I don't know if I'm just missing the post, but I just, these players don't, put in the team sheet I'm thinking well are they injured or what because I'd never mm. hear if they are or not I saw the one about Morris today saying that he was out on Saturday mm. but it's just very rare that we we get updates on injuries these days so I wasn't aware that Benson or Cole were injured they just thought they weren't being played yeah exactly. but, yeah I, I mean who are you going to stick up front you're going to I'd go with Marsh out of mm-hmm. Asia and um and Cole yeah you, go for it, you know I had a beige. I'll give him a shout out. Last week, I thought he was superb against against Preston. I thought he really was. Mm-hmm. His determination for that for that goal was absolutely brilliant. And you know, he ran his bag out in that game. And uh, no, no player that I've criticised. If you can put in performance like that week in week out, then he's another player that can do really well. And I hope he, he shows what he can do in League One next season. Yeah, it's like, a good point. What you did, what you said there about Aidan Marsh, and like you just said there about Eddie Beijo is that. You know, us as fans, Barnsley fans, we, we just want, you know, that effort and it'll get appreciated, even though, you know, it's a loss or, you know, things aren't going your, your way. If you, if you are chasing stuff down, you are putting effort and commitment in, Barnsley, us as fans, we'll, we'll see that and we'll applaud you for it. And it's like when you when you see that, what can I say, lack of effort and, and it's like oh, going through motions, that's what gets irate fans and, you know, such as like Yaden yeah. Marsh, Matty Wolf, all comes from area. You've got Joe Ackroyd, who possibly could come in next season. Winfield at left back. So we've got some youth fear, but know the club and want to do well. And I just wish that other players could like see that and grasp it and all and think that's the fate of spirit what we've been lacking all season, isn't it? Yeah, there's been there's been no fight at all this season. It's it's we have we've, we've been fighting relegation for, for the majority of it, and we haven't looked like a team that's fight, been fighting relegation in the way we've approached games. We, mm. I can't be bothered, and you know, every game to me, the attitude they've gone out with majority of players, not all of them, but the majority of players, has been like, yeah, nothing to play for, we'll just go out and kick around. Mm-hmm. You know, there's been no urgency. There's been there's been no one on the field sort of geeing the players up and shouting at them. You know, last season we had when we had Matty James in, I think he would have been an ideal player for us this season. Yeah. He's yeah. the sort of player that can get there and he can, can get you going. But there's, there's no leader on the pitch. There's not been a leader off the pitch this season. Either there's been no leader anywhere, you True. know, from top to bottom. But um, yeah, you need the, the lack of effort. You know, it comes down from the players, yeah. But you need someone behind them to sort of give them a kick up the ass. If, 
for a better way of putting it. Mm. There's been no one on the pitch that's been screaming at players to, you know, sort themselves out, get the reds up, do this. There's no communication at all on the pitch. You know, it's 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 just been dead quiet all season. There's been there's no natural leader there. I think Woodrow was given the captain's armband as an incentive to stay, um, which everybody wanted. Personally, if I could go back and do it all again, I would say to bother because mm. you know that that captain's armband's done nothing for him. I know he's been out injured for a lot of the season, but when he hasn't been injured, he hasn't shown what he's shown in previous seasons. He's not shown that fight. Mm. And as I say, just barring a few of the players this season, there's been no effort at all. So I and then if if he goes in the close season, I'm not bothered to be honest. Because like you say, I want players, especially for local lads that are going to play and wear their arts on their sleeves, you know. And Aiden Marsh, you know, see what it means to him to play. That's the sort of player we need. Jordan Williams is always getting criticised. He's forever getting criticised about his ability. And he's not the most gifted player. He's a good player. He's not the most mm. gifted player, but the effort he puts in, 110% every game, yeah. you know, and that's what, that's what I want to see as well. Players, you know, just that sort of that, that sort of thing. Jordan Williams now is a more senior team player. Yeah. And yeah. if he's here next season, then he's the sort of player that can, you know, help bring these youngsters on because, you know, he's, he's been here for a, a while now. He, he obviously likes playing for the club. You can see that when, he, when he's on the pitch. And, um, you know, that's the sort of play we want now that's going to bring these youngsters on because that's what we're going to be relying on, I think, because we're not going to attract any players hmm. in League One. Yeah, it's going to it's going to be an hard call, that, isn't it? It's going to be an hard sell because not only have we got to attract players, we've got to attract a manager or a coach, is what we call them right now. Uh, Jordan Williams were unfortunate that he, he picked up that injury because I thought he was starting to come into it more regular and gain it a bit better in his own ability kind of thing. <clears throat> going back to, like you said, with injuries and that, I've never known as many injuries and we all know it's been well documented about, you know, Sedgwick and that going. It's been niggly, petty little injuries as well, you know, and it's for that. What are they, they doing to him in training? There's obviously something to do with the training because it's, summer, isn't it? it's, it's ridiculous the amount of injuries we've had this season. Mm. And it's, it's affected us as well because we haven't got biggest the squads. But no. When you get on something like a bit of a run, you pick up a few injuries and it's, it's in key areas. It, it, like... You know, it just scuppers what you're trying to do, trying to achieve to get out. And to be fair, we're, it's no excuse. You know, we're not using it as an excuse and that. But all teams have injuries, but it's how you pick up from it. And we haven't. We haven't all season, to be fair. Um, going to West Brom game, Dave, if we win it, we're still going to be bottom. You know, uh, it's bad. It's it's not, I mean, it's been documented in it. We all die with counts with minus points and that. But mm. it's. it's it's going to be hard for Martin Devaney, I think, to get the the players up, you know, for a win because writing's on the wall. West Brom, they can't make playoffs like now. We can't. All we've got to go out for is just to win in the performance. I and mean, I think you might agree, Dave. I don't know. Um, I think Devaney will be looking at this to see, test the character and see what kind of performance we're going to be putting in moving result. Yeah, I think uh, the result's not important. As you say, we're, we're finishing bottom. You know, writing's on the wall there. So it's it's going to be about performance and you know a how the the youngsters perform and also the ones that are going to be here next season. You mm. know, cause, uh, as I said, I, believe, I don't even know who's going to be playing on Saturday with all the injuries we've got. I find mm. it hard to pick that team. Yeah. But um, yeah, you've got to. I I'd, I'd be going with the players that are going to be there for you next season, and um, you know just get them playing together, and you need to find a. Uh, you need to have a have a play around, especially in the close season now, and get your get your starting eleven together. Mm. And um, Saturday is going to be your last shot in the championship for I don't know how many how, how long it's going to be. We were talking yeah. after the game last Saturday, and you know three years was was bandied around, and a couple of us have seen five years. We just, we just don't know. It's it's not going to be a I'll be amazed if we're flirting with the playoffs next season. I really would, you know, the way the way we are at the moment, but. You know, it's obviously it's going to be a work in progress, but we need things to change behind the scenes. And the players are going to be the biggest part of it. So, you know, given that last bit of experience on, on Saturday, West Brom, it's a, it's a big day out. It's a, hmm. You know, they're a, one of those teams that you between the Premier League and the Championship. So despite where they finish the season, they are a big club. You know, they, yeah, yeah. they are one of the biggest clubs in the Championship. And um, get, get players need to go out to put in a performance. And show to Devaney, I want to play for this club. I want to play for the badge. 
this is all I can do. And then, you know, he's not going to be in the chair next season. I don't know who's going to be in the chair next season. Hmm. But, you know, if he's seen what they can do and what the effort they're going to put in, he's obviously going to have a word in the ear of the new head coach and say, you know, look at the videos from the last couple of games of the yeah. season. And and there you go. And I think I think if uh, some of the, if, if the other half of the squad put in the performance that the other half put in last week against Preston, then I think, um, yeah, it'd be, it'd be good to go out with the win, but performance, you know, it, we just got carved apart by a better team last last Saturday mm-hmm. against Preston. Preston were up for it. They just went straight through us. Um, I mean, you look at the squad. They hadn't played that team. hadn't never played together before. You know, it's it's hard when you when you when you come into a team and especially one like ours when you're chopping and changing. You've had no consistency. But you need to. I'm sure devaney has got an idea of the eleven he'd like to play. Obviously, mm-hmm. you can't play those eleven because of injuries. But I think he's he's also got a an idea of who. He'd be starting if he was in the manager's seat next season, and I think he needs to to go with that. You know, injuries aside, and yeah, um, yeah give some of the youngsters more game time because it can only benefit them, and they do well on Saturday. Yeah, um, like I said, like what David said, here, it's all about commitment and effort. What we need to get put in. I think there's about 500 fans going to West Brom, so fair play to them. 500 fans that are going because you know it's been poor one one away win all season. Uh, so I think Martin Devaney will be putting out best side, well, you know, team side to eleven, but he possibly can bar and injuries. Uh, and like what you've said, Veer Dave, it's a good opportunity for some of these to say, look, I'm worthy of starting eleven for next season, League One. Whoever, whoever it is, Martin Devaney. I mean, there's other names been banded about and that, but just say, look, I'm ready for this fight. I'm ready for this cause. Uh, Let's let's uh, let's do it. Let's get crack on with it. Um, yeah, a few a few things have been banded about saying, "Oh, it's going to take us a couple of seasons." Because a lot of people are saying seeing that next season is going to be like a, a regroup, a re restructuring, and then move on from there, a rebuild. I'm hoping I'm wrong. I hope we win it league one by country mile. But being real, realistic, you know, we've got to see what manager or head coach comes in first, and then see what players are retained, what players are going to be coming in. You know, and just protect it from there, don't we? It's, it, you know, pre season, then season starts because it's going to be a fair few games coming up. So, yeah, I mean, last I mean, last time we went down, we had a, we had a decent squad, we kept most mm. of the squad together, and that's why we bounced straight back, you know. And I think that's probably the only big positive you can take from the, the last five years when this board had been in charge. Um, last season, again, we we had a decent season last season, but it was at Wigan's expense. You know, by right, we shouldn't have been in the championship. We should have been relegated. So that would have been another season in League One. But the squad we've got at the moment, nowhere near good enough for the championship. And I think it had struggle against a lot of teams in League One. And you look at some of the teams down there, there's some big teams in League One. Mm. And if some of the uh, more experienced players like uh, Styles, Woodrow, Collins, you know, yeah. if they go, then... Alec even, you know, it's it's not gonna be an immediate bounce back because you just haven't got the the, the squad. It's mm. the players that played in League One last time and played together in the championship, most of them. Yeah. And these these haven't, you know, they it's gonna be, you know, new names coming in over the summer, hopefully. Uh, hopefully I'd like I'd like to see some experienced uh football league players to come in and help us. But whether we get that's another thing, but yeah, I don't, I don't think it's going to be an immediate bounce back. It's you know, strange things have happened, but I mean, look when we went down in 2014, we nearly got sent straight mm. down to League Two as well. Mm. Uh, I think it's going to be another a season like that. I don't think it's going to be quite as bad as that season, but um, I think it's going to be a mid-table to lower finish. I can't see us doing any better than that. And you've just got to regroup, and you've, you've got to. You've got to get your squad together. You've got to get a squad yeah. together that you can put in week in, week out. Yeah. You know, if you're playing the same eleven, you know you're starting eleven. You should be playing your starting eleven every single game where you can. You know, obviously injuries come up, come along and put a spanner in the works, but you should know your team. And I don't think anyone could predict a Barnsley team sheet at the moment because mm. mm. it's never the same. Even if we don't get injuries, it's never the same starting eleven week in, week out. And that's what you need. You need to have players that are consistently playing together. 
mm. so they can get used to playing with each other and and they're, they're familiar with how each other plays and be chopping and changed and chucking people out and chucking people in all the time you ain't gonna get that you just need to have a squad and get a squad together get them to gel playing week in week out when you can and yeah it's gonna it's gonna be a couple of years i think yeah well i've five i've said five i said five that's probably the the doom and gloom side of me saying that but realistically i think it's it's gonna be at least at least three two or three at the very least i think i can't mm. see us getting back any quicker than that i mean look how long sheffield united were down there they, yeah, they got yeah. hit and they were down there for a, for a fair old while mm. so you look at you look at like your Sunderland's as well. Your Sunderland, yeah. and you know, yeah. a big, massive, massive club, and it's all expected to bounce straight back. You know, and mm. I don't know if they kept their squad together or if they got picked apart, but you know, they they they've struggled as well. They've mm. you know they they could they got they got down with us in twenty 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 four uh, eighteen I think it was. I'm not really sure. I have to double check on that, but but we've been. I know we've been down. And they, you know, and they, that was, if that was 2018, then, then you know, it's four seasons they've been down there now. Yeah, and they're you know change of manager again because Alex Neal's here, so it's going to be all pressure on him if he, oh, I'm say if he doesn't deliver. But you know, it's like all eyes on him, and he could be another one because we're going to be constantly winning fat success. So yeah, West Brom is last championship game. Who knows how long for? We're hoping it's not going to be that long. Uh, great to have Dave on. We're not going to even go through an eight team. Uh, line up because we haven't even got a clue what who's going to be starting who's not going to be starting no. so uh, all I just want to say is like thanks Dave for joining me I do appreciate it uh, I was great to have you on and have your, your, your tech on stuff uh, oh we've covered things all 500 fans plus what's going to be going down to West Brom hope you have a safe journey safe travel back and back hope we can come, you know something to come back for at least a win or something to cheer about 2-0 away win Two nil away win. Yeah. Aiden Marsh for two. <laughs> I will take that. Uh cheers, Dave. Thanks for joining me, mate. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having us new much appreciated. Uh one thing left to say, you reds.